Have you spent hours of time trying to create stylized architectural drawings like the one we see on Pinterest? Now you can create them in minutes using this platform and you don't even need to know Photoshop or Illustrator. That's right, I stumbled upon this tool called Buildigo which is a web-based platform that makes creating architectural presentations easier than ever. No fuss and no learning curve and you can turn your architectural drawings from this to this in minutes. So in this video, I'll walk you through this platform. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator, and we talk about architecture and new tools in the design industry in this channel. Around 90% of the viewers watching this channel have not subscribed yet, so if you're one of them, make sure you do so we can create more amazing content like this. So let's get started. Now you may be wondering if this tool is free or paid. Buildigo is a freemium platform which means you can access most of the tools for free but still has a watermark while exporting. To begin with, let's head over to buildigo.com and the link is provided in the description of this video. The website is straightforward and as you can see, this mentions all the tools within the platform that can help students in creating architectural presentation boards in an intuitive and a time-saving way. This tool claims to be 10 times faster so let's jump in and see if it's true. The website does offer a free account using which we can access all the features but we do have a limitation of having ads in the output. Click start designing and we'll have to create an account or use a Google account to log into this website. That's pretty straightforward. Once you do, click the free account to start using this tool. We are now in the projects page of this website and this is where all the files that we create are located. Right below, we have tutorials for different aspects of this website but we'll take a look at each of this in detail. Click new project to begin a new drawing I've already created a file, so I'll be using that for this example. Once you do that, you are greeted with the main canvas, inside which we'll do all the editing. On the left side, we have layers, under which we have pages on which we can create the drawing. We can import different assets from the local library. On the top, we have toolbars for selection, drawing shapes, adding text and so on. Let's now add an image inside the canvas, so we can look at these tools in detail. I'll be using this black and white flow plan to render it inside Buildigo. All we have to do is to just drag and drop the floor plan inside the canvas and this will be updated. Scale is an important factor in architectural drawing. So let's use the ruler option on the top toolbar to scale this floor plan. The easiest way to do that is to use the dimension in the floor plan as a reference while scaling it. In this case, I know that the car is 4 meters, so we can use that as the reference point. Let's pick the ruler option and click the top and bottom edges of the car. This opens a pop-up on the top and that shows the real value. Choose the preferred unit and type in the dimension. Now this will highlight the scale and dimension on the right side. You can now type in your preferred scale to resize the drawing. This offers great flexibility while scaling it and we can resize it to any scale at any point of time. Once we do that, we can use the selection tool on top to choose the elements in the flow plan. This will immediately open the textures on the right side and as you can see, all of these elements are segregated in different subheadings, making it easy for us to drag and drop it into the flow plan. Using the selection tool, let's begin by selecting all the walls in the flow plan. As we make the selection, these are added in separate layers on the left side. We can use the magic wand and also the rectangle tool to make the selection. We also have a subtract option, just in case we want to unselect areas in the flow plan. Once we made a selection, all we have to do is to just click on the main wall and this will get added into the flow plan. Similarly, go back to the plan layer and use the selection tool to make a selection of all the major floors in the drawing. Click the main flooring on the right side and it gets added on the floor plan. Quite easy, right? Let's repeat the same process for all the other textures in the floor plan. Choose the area in the plan layer using the selection tool. Add the texture that you want on the right side and it gets added to the floor plan. We can customize each of these textures as well by adjusting the hue, saturation and so on. It hardly takes a few minutes to render the floor plan and even if you make mistakes in the rendering, these can be easily resolved using the tools in Buildigo. For selecting these trees, I'm using the pencil tool, which is a lot more easier to select. Inside the landscape tab on the right side, we have the main tree and secondary tree that we can add to the floor plan. Once we've added textures to the entire floor plan, let's enhance it by adding some shadows. I've chosen the main tree layer and when you scroll down, we have the shadow option. We can change the shadows in X and Y direction and also adjust the blur of the shadows. I would like to add some shadows for the main walls as well, using the same technique. And for these pathways on the main entrance, I'm adding a custom texture from Google. Let's download an image and add it into the custom pattern to add it inside the floor plan. The floor plan rendering is done, but the next part is where the magic happens. 
Choose the drop down on the top right and try switching between different styles on the floor plan. This will automatically update all the pre-made styles based on the layers that we made initially. We have multiple styles to choose from and all of these styles are really unique, creating a very cool presentation. All of these are once again customizable as well, so you're free to go in and edit each of them. Once you're happy with that, on the bottom we have the export option. You can choose between PNG, JPEG or PDF and export the drawing. On the free version, we will have watermarks just like how I mentioned earlier, but this is definitely an interesting tool to track. The pricing of this platform is also very affordable, so you can make the choice if you want to try it or not. Now apart from the editing canvas that we just saw, we also have the assets option, inside which we have a lot of very useful PNG files to use. These are free to download and we can use them offline in Photoshop or any software that we use. This has quite a number of collections as well, so make sure to check it out. Apart from that, we also have the library tool and this has different files and components to track. We also have an option to add custom fonts inside Buildico and these can be used inside the canvas. And finally, we also have layout options using which we can simply drag and drop a layout to create our presentation boards. For example, this layout already has a pre-made set of render and plan option and we can simply drag and drop our drawings to create a presentation in no time. Now this can be very useful as well. I think this platform has a great potential for architecture students especially. Even though it has its own drawbacks like the platform being a bit unresponsive, this is still a valuable tool. We all know how time consuming the process of rendering drawing is and we'll have to master Photoshop or Illustrator for that. This platform bridges the gap in producing great looking results in a short amount of time. Let me know what you think about this tool. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.